in Starfield, osteoporosis. We have not had a new drug FDA approved since 2010. So that's big news. And the other big news is that this drug is a different drug from virtually every other drug we have available for the treatment of osteoporosis. So it is part of a new class. There is another drug as part of this class. Uh, but this drug uh, represents uh, the second in a class of drugs that we call osteoanabolics or anabolics, the term meaning that uh, the drug actually builds bone. Uh, and this is a very important feature when we talk about a disease in which bone is broken down. So the great feature of Timlos is that it builds up bone and improves bone density and as a result reduces that person's risk of a fracture. I, don't, I wouldn't say there were surprising findings because the drug was developed with a specific idea in mind and that was to take advantage of a property of what we call the PTH molecules. There are several uh, PTH molecules. Uh, to take advantage in a way that was based on protein chemistry, literally to make a molecule that had features that would prove to be markedly anabolic, allow us doctors to use it safely, and to, as I say, build bone. So the, the development of this drug was very beautifully designed, if you will, and it turns out, as the clinical trials were developed, the phase two trial, the phase three trial, that was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in August of last year, that this drug proved itself that it did do what we thought it would do, namely um, markedly increases bone density and in a very significant way reduces fractures in postmenopausal women at both the vertebral column, that is the backbones, as well as sites outside the vertebral. We call those non-vertebral fractures. So this drug has, if you will, a global property to reduce fractures both at the central sites of the skeleton and the non-vertebral sites of the skeleton.